terrorism will never prevail against the democratic freedoms of Northern Ireland, nor will violence ever be accepted as any measure of loyalty or faithfulness to the Crown or to the state. Last week, Prince Charles professed a desire to be seen eventually as the defender of faith in general and not simply the Protestant faith. It's a message that probably has greater resonance in Northern Ireland than anywhere else in the United Kingdom. Today, meeting church leaders here, he was broadening his message, praising those who, he said, toiled across the community to build trust. He was strongly critical of all the gunmen here, but particularly those who claim to be acting out of loyalty to the Crown. Terrorism will never prevail against the democratic freedoms of Northern Ireland, nor will violence ever be accepted as any measure of loyalty or faithfulness to the Crown or to the state. It is probably wrong anyway to attach the term loyalist to gunmen, but that is what they call themselves, claiming to be acting to protect the interests of the Crown and unity of the state. No previous royal has ever addressed the issue in such a direct and unequivocal way. Prince Charles also visited Londonderry today, for many the birthplace of the modern troubles, now relatively peaceful and quiet. As he left the craft centre, he was barracked by protesters. Bloody Sunday, the day 20 years ago when the parachute regiment killed 12 people here. Prince Charles is the regiment's colonel-in-chief, the demonstration a reminder of the passions that still divide.